Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today we have a 2023 Ford Edge, and we're gonna be taking a look at, and I'm gonna show you how to install the eTrailer Class 3 two-inch hitch receiver. Adding a two-inch hitch receiver to the back of your edge is gonna allow you to haul different things like cargo carriers, bike racks, or maybe even a small trailer. If you're wanting to tow a trailer with this hitch, um, it is ready to tow a trailer, you will want to pick up four pole wiring to be able to safely tow that trailer. This hitch is going to feature your two inch by two inch opening, which is very, very common uh, for all those accessories out there that you might want to use. We're also going to have a triple carbide black powder coat finish that has a matte finish. I really like the way it looks on the back of our Ford Edge. Uh, that paint has proven to be a very, very tough paint job, so you don't have to worry about it chipping or flaking off um, in the nearby future. We'll have a standard 5 8 inch hitch pin hole. Uh, it does accept a hitch pin and clip to hold your accessories in place. The hitch pin and clip do not come with the hitch, so you want to be sure to pick up a locking or non-locking hitch pin on our website. The safety chain loops are kind of a unique style. Typically, you'll have a hoop style or a plate style that comes out to the side, but these will point straight down. And I like the way they look because they're much easier to hook your safety chains on. You don't have to get up close to your fascia. Um, they're going to accept safety chains of different styles, whether it's a clevis or an S-hook style. Now, as far as weight capacities go for this hitch, you're going to have a max tongue weight capacity of 675 pounds and a max gross trailer weight capacity of 4,500 pounds. That is the trailer plus the load included. You will want to check with the owner's manual of your Ford Edge to make sure your vehicle can handle that. And if it can't, you want to go with the lowest number between the hitch and the vehicle. Now some measurements so you know how it's going to fit on your Ford Edge. From the center of our hitchman hole to the outermost part of our bumper is about five inches. Uh, you'll use that measurement in order to make sure that accessories are going to fit on your vehicle. If you watch some of our videos on those accessories, they will give you a measurement from the center of the hitchman hole to the closest part of the accessory when it's folded up to the vehicle to tell you whether or not it's going to work with your edge before you even have to make a decision. For our uh, ground clearance measurement from the ground to the top inside of the receiver tube, it's going to be about 12 and 3 quarters of an inch. Um, and when I say ground clearance, we're talking about accessories. So um, you're going to be 12 and 3 quarters inches off the ground. That's sort of in the safe zone. 12 is usually our cutoff. If it's below that, you want to look for an accessory with a raised shank. If you're planning on using it for a cargo carrier, most cargo carriers that are 2 inch are going to have a 2 inch rise naturally in the shank. So you'll have a little bit more ground clearance, but just keep in mind any accessory that you put on the back of your Ford Edge, if it is in that heavier range, it's gonna cause the back of the vehicle to sag a little bit. So you may err on the side of caution and get one with a little bit higher rise. Now, when it comes to the installation for this hitch, it's definitely an install you could do at home uh, because there's more than enough space to be able to lay underneath the car to do this install. We will have to remove two plastic panels up underneath the rear fascia and then you may or may not have a plastic piece in the middle that's connected to your heat shield. We did not have one, but if you do, there is one extra step that you have to do to remove that and to cut the stud off that holds it up into place. That piece will not get reinstalled. Um, we also discovered in doing this hitch, we just we like to kind of test the waters here to see if there's any steps that we could skip or, or leave out. And with this particular hitch, you don't necessarily have to lower the exhaust, we're going to show you how to lower it if you don't have enough space to lift the hitch up into place because lowering the exhaust does make it a little bit easier to lift it up into place. But with that being said, let's go ahead and show you how to get it done. To begin our installation, we're going to start over on our driver's side, but whatever we do to this plastic panel, we're going to repeat on the passenger side. We'll take a five and a half millimeter socket, remove these two screws that are connecting this plastic panel. Now we're going to take a 10 millimeter socket and remove the two flange nuts that are holding the remainder of this plastic panel on. We'll pull this plastic panel out of our way. Now the next step in the process you may or may not have to do. Some vehicles come with them, some don't. Um, but if you have a shield right up in here, it'll be a plastic panel. You'll have six screws that you'll have to remove on the bottom of this plastic panel and then one flange nut that is on a stud. Ours doesn't even have the stud, so we don't have to worry about this, taking this panel off or anything. Um, the studs will look just like those ones hanging out of your frame rail and you'll have to cut that stud off. 
Now our next step is going to be lowering our exhaust. Anytime you lower a vehicle's exhaust, you want to provide a little bit of support under it so that a joint further up on the vehicle is not going to support it all. Um, with this particular vehicle, I don't see any other exhaust hanger, so we definitely need to support it. You can kink the pipe, you can damage something, so just put a strap underneath it. We're gonna take some silicone and spray it on the lower portion of our exhaust hanger. You can use soapy water, uh, just make sure there's a lot of soap in it to make it slick. And then we'll take a pry bar. If you're lucky enough to have an exhaust hanger tool, those actually work better um, because you can just pry right out. But if, as long as you put something on there that's slick, it should pry right off. So we'll do that to our driver and passenger side. Now we're ready to start fishing our hardware. We're gonna take our fish wire and we're gonna run it back, all the way back to this elongated hole back here. If you slide your finger into the, this hole, you can wait for the fish wire to come back there. You push it against your finger, you can pull it out the end. I will take a carriage bolt and our spacer block Spin that on there. We'll send the spacer block through this hole first, and then our carriage bolt. And you want to pull it through until it hangs out the bottom of our frame. What we'll want to do is we'll do the same thing for this other bottom hole, and then the same thing for these two top ones. Now with an extra set of hands, we'll take our hitch, lift it up into place. Joe's helping us out here. It just makes it quite a bit easier to uh, lift us up with an extra person. We'll take our fish wires, feed them through. You can leave all your fish wires on if you want, or you can just leave the top ones on because you will have to pull those out through the frame. Once you get those bolts pulled out of the side of the frame rail, it'll hold the hitch in place. Uh, you want to put a flange nut on the forward most bolt on the bottom, and then on each of the top you'll put a flange nut, and then this bolt here is going to get a lock washer and a standard nut. Now when tightening down your hardware, you want to start with the two bottom ones. Um, on both sides we just tighten that one, so we'll snug this one up, and then you can tighten down the top. Now we're going to torque our hardware to the specifications in the instructions. You want to start with that bottom hardware again. Now once you have your hitch hardware all torqued down to the specifications, um, you'll want to put those two panels back on either side and then rehang your exhaust if you decided to lower it down. But other than that, that's going to do it for the installation. Hopefully this video helped you decide whether or not the e-trailer class 3 2-inch hitch receiver is right for you and your 2023 Ford Edge.